Hi there folks, Elk Rex here. Just doing an update for Eddie Beer's painting challenge for January. Now we're into February. And yeah, it's February 1st. Wow, where's the year going, Ray? Uh, what we have here is my Forge World uh, um, Caro Caros or something like that. It's an alphabet soup uh, name of a vehicle. And the last time I think you've seen this, it was either just put together. I'm not sure which one it was. But since then, I've done a little bit of work on it. It's all I have left of the uh, that I have assembled from my Mechanicus, Adeptus Mechanicus Force. And what you see here is got all the metallics done, you know, the steel work, the uh, brass, and... I put down a layer of corn red as my base coat for my red. And now I just put on a little, start putting on Mephiston red onto the different parts. And so far I've uh, got these done with the cannons on the side. You know, they still move. There's a pin right here. Pull that out. So just like that. You can easily now the ribbing right here all that's going to be painted blue for um, energy effects so it's like capacitors charging up and then this thing rot rotates like a gatling cannon and you're able to pump out a bunch of shots so i have all that and then the coolant areas where the, there there's going to be blue in there so there's going to be some more cool colors added on to it you know, just like this in here. Pull the pin. Makes it easy to paint. So this one's the same as the other one. Except it's set up for the other side. And then this is like where the uh, force field. It has a... Uh, like I think a flare shield, I think they call it. And that's where they comes out right there I still have to put a little bit of brass effects on that I forgot all about that and then these are going to be with blue energy coming out of it so it's pretty much I'm not sure if I'm going to do much more work I'll do some effects here because you can't see underneath on that there so um, I just got a base coat on there and call it good and this and these come out now this here, I'm going to go through and all these same thing. These are going to be painted up with blue for the energy effects on the different weapon systems. And I'm thinking maybe, I'm not sure, those might be brass. I have to take a look, but I'm probably just going to leave them steel. Save the time and effort. You know, the other one's same thing, except it has a solid bar that goes on the front goes in there opens up when I was working on it you know works fine I did had to clean out some of the side because when I put all the paint on there it, it wouldn't go into the uh, slot anymore it's like oh I gotta clean that out just imagine there's fine enough detail in there or so when you put a little bit of paint on that side paint on that side it wouldn't go in I had to peel it off now these pop off. So you got your side tread areas. Those I have, you know, the corn red base, and I put the Mephiston over top of that to brighten it up a little bit. And then I still have to go in with some Evil Sun Scarlet, and then I'll finish off with a little bit of uh, effects with some Troll uh, Slayer Orange to give the like kind of a glowy effect that I usually do with all my uh, reds I have with my Mechanicus. So that's just the uh, forge um, that I use. It has more of an orange effect to it. Still red for Mars, but you know, I go more of a different up the scale a little bit towards yellow. So same thing. And this right here, don't need to paint any of this because you never see it. 
these still turn even though they don't they're kind of a lot of a little bit of play in there if I would thought about it, I would have maybe thought about putting a washer or something in there to tighten it up a little bit but they move so I'm gonna go in through it next step is go through and hit all this with wherever you see red is my fist on red and then I'll slowly with the uh, evil sun scarlet uh, it's kind of like I usually do it's like you'll have you'll see some parts of the uh, horn red base and then you'll see the Mephiston and then you'll see the um, evil sun and then you'll have a little bit of area that's with the troll slayer so you have a gradient movement all done with a brush if you did it with uh, airbrush I suppose you could be easier quicker to do it but I can do it easily with a brush effects <clears throat> then I'm thinking of going blue effects right here and put some blue effects coming out of this right here so it's like the ram on the front and uh, go with that so, so that a little bit of um, cold colors go with all the warmth that's in this thing kind of break up the monotony that's part of the deal and that's pretty much it got her all done for that so far that's just a quick update and I'll get cracking on this thing and probably got another three four more days worth of work on this depending on how much free time I get here and uh, I'll get it done and we'll move on to doing some more stuff I said I was going to work on some orcs this year too I hear rumors that the orc codex is in the work so hopefully that will uh, surface sometime and I still have these guys to work on too so for my Nurgle force I work on them I'm gonna do a hairspray effect on which I'll maybe I'll do a video on those guys and show you what I'm doing all right that's Hellcricks you guys have a good one.